Hey there, this is LA Calling, and you're watching Brutally Delicious with Bruce Moore. Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got another great show in store for you. This time, we're going to head to the south and speak with the guys at Cosmovore. And if you stay tuned, we're going to see what they have cooked up for us today. those not familiar with Cosmo War, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? The woods is the best source of nutrients in Arkansas. Our band Cosmo War. Be quiet, kids. We'll talk about that here in a second. Our band Cosmo War has been together for roughly a year. More or less, we changed members, we changed names, and we changed images. But the uh, grit is there. Cosmovore has a special place here in the South. This is the planet of the birds. There's more birds on Earth than any other species. I'm not really seeing anything. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. I do hear them. There's got to be nests around here somewhere. The native Jerry Jerry bird, man. Had a I think it is. Oh, what is this? Looks like nutrients to me. That is a pure organic egg from a bird known as the quail. Here in Arkansas, we call it a quail. You know, I've tried quail. There's not a lot of meat there, but they lay one egg every day of their life. These eggs, how many are there? Four or five? That's more eggs than my stepmom has ever laid. Well, they gotta be fresh. There's gotta be some other sustenance. You know, kids, you there just... There we go, aluminum. Aluminum. If you can't find iron, aluminum will do. Iron's a nutrient, too. It comes from stars. That's right. And other metals, precious metals, that have been left behind by traces of meteorite landings have been known to be found in these woods as well. On this earth. Now that your new record, these castle walls have been complete. How do you feel about it? Are you satisfied with the outcome? While we gather some firewood, we're going to tell you something about our last project. These castle walls, a quick little ditty demo we made just so everyone can hear what we sound like. And uh, since it's been out, I don't know how satisfied we've been. You tell us. Go take a listen to it. Now, meantime, we gotta gather some firewoods. Yeah, that'll work. This is what is known as kindling. Now, you may not have ever known what kindling was, but if you didn't know by now, you ain't never gonna know because it's gonna burn real fast. Yep. Fire pit. Hey, children, if you have any trouble, getting fire to start, just do what you've seen on television or Hollywood movies. Oh, look, magic. Like I said, iron's available on all planets. Keep that in mind. Thank you, Father. What's the meaning behind the name of the band Cosmovore? The name Cosmovore means the eat of the cosmos. We get our nutrients from the essence of the matter. We bite directly into the goodness of the universe and drink the essence of the universe from the sweats of our brows. Keep our ingredients over here. I'm gonna irradiate them here soon. 
Now, kids, you don't want to count these until they've been fully hatched or have been cooked and been eaten. You might want to get a thesaurus out because we may be talking about some very complicated issues this day. And there's a tip when you're traveling through the universe, you don't always have handy wipes. So the best way to purify is always by fire, and it's available on all planets. Keep that in mind. Uh, when you're on other planets, sometimes you have to craft your own cooking gear. We've borrowed the motherboard from our capsule. I'm gonna use it, hooked it up to the irradiator decomplexifier. It's a short term for a scientific space age microwave. It's known as cosmic alchemy. And it can be done in the comfort of your own kitchen. Just ask any Arkansan. On a side note here, we like to be referred to as Arkansans instead of Arkansas because a long time ago in Arkansas, everyone knows, we all were cousins. Now the word Arkansan stems from the word cousin in many of your tribal languages. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to activate it. That's right. Yeah, That's right. don't forget to uh, use our quartz to irradiate fire. This is actually Arkansas quartz. It can actually only be found here in Arkansas. Here on planet Arkansas. Planet Arkansas, All right, we're gonna take our ingredients. And I know y'all don't know what we're making yet. We're gonna keep it a surprise. But it's gonna be quail egg. Now we outfitted our capsule here. You guys kick down the camera. Alright, we outfitted our capsule here to temporarily put food for us while we're stranded. To ir irradiate and ir modify any genetically modified species. Species is, or as I like to refer to them as, species. Alright, boys and girls, we're gonna let that simmer. That's it for a good hour, hour and a half, or two, three hours. All right. On your new record, you guys have a lot to say about the food industry. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, yeah, this food is not genetically modified in any way, shape, form, or fashion, because we did not use corn syrup. You'll be able to recognize anything that's been genetically modified or hybridized, because in certain instances, such as the mule, or the lager, or the tigon, or the tomato, if you're talking about Monsanto's case, they cannot breed. Now, this started with a tradition back in the 70s, in the early 1970s, hundreds, when hippies did not want to have the seeds in the marijuana. They did what can be similarly known as cloning. And that's what your government, at this point right now, is doing with your children and your tomatoes. Very important that all ingredients are GMO free. Because even though we can eat anything, we can eat all matter. I don't like no one messing with my DNA. I like the way it is. Yep, it's a morality issue. Houston, Houston, Roger. Roger, can you copy? Can you copy me? Houston. Well, while we're calling for help, I guess uh, it's about time, boys and girls, to check on the food. There. Yeah, it's just getting about halfway there. Man, that's starting to look moist. Halfway there, right there. Make it mouth water. Now remember, when you're out in space, boys and girls, don't eat nothing without letting your parents look at it first so they can get a good chair. You guys have any touring plans in support of the record? Hey guys, are we going on tour for this album we just did? No! No, I don't think so. I think we're going to write a new one and then go on tour. Check on the fiddles once again. My wrath, my envy, my free, my yeah. Careful, last time that space capsule was hot. We'll bring the boot. Ooh. All right. Yeah, man, those look about done. Just like grandma used to irradiate. Yeah, I'm non genetically modified quill leg. Hot, box, hot dog bun, right? Still got starfish on it. Sometimes that happens uh, in the, in the uh, molecular radio irradiator when your ingredients aren't 100%, you know, pure. If you get a little, little carbon, yeah, something in there to 
you get microorganisms that turn into other earthly species. So we got us some buns here. I guess you guys are starting to put two and two together. Man, when's our key Oh, there he is. Hey. What do we have here? Oh, I remember that. Uh, Grandpa used to talk about that after the uh, you know class in sol solitarium. Yes, sir. And uh, we had them uh, quail eggs, and uh, man, he well he used to make it with uh, aluminum foil. From, aluminum uh, can. That's what oh, yeah, we, can. yeah, we we found that aluminum can. What you got? Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Uh, you know the best thing about them is the GMO. Yeah, for real. No corn syrup. <laughs> no, if you, no corn syrup. If you yes. leave the corn syrup out, you're you got pure ingredients. Now, what happens? That you, you saw that starfish in there a minute ago, people. Uh, that occurs when there's impurities in there. There could have been a GMO in there, and that's why instead of uh, Pure Hot quail eggs, we ended up quail with starfish egg, on top. Egg buns, we ended up with starfish on top. As I said, kids, space alchemy. Yeah, now, don't. now, the best thing about it is it's got that natural flavoring. And I don't know if you know where natural flavoring comes from, but it comes from beaver butt. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man, beaver butt. That's some of the nutrients the and most beaver. substance <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> the inner gland of a beaver. It's the strangest thing that's ever happened to you on tour or at one of your shows. Around the fire, telling stories, telling war stories, or as we like to call them, tour stories. And one of the more interesting things that's happened to me in an EG-13 fashion is that Meatloaf come around and being a real jerk. I don't know if y'all know who Meatloaf is, but it can be cooked with many of your household appliances and or meat products, most of it genetically modified. And uh, he had left his heart medicine in one of the studio booths in there and I happened to have found it one night at which point I did have to urinate terribly bad and didn't find anywhere else to uh, handle my business so I technically relieved myself in what could be known as Midlow's heart medicine. Oh, so Midlow, Jesus. Yeah, Antoine, what's the craziest thing you've ever done on tour or you know give us a very uh, you know a good anecdote a nice little tour story. Yeah, tell us about your tour days. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's a good one. That's a good one. On tour, falling down on stage. Great. Too much beer. Now that we got our buns out the oven, we got a nice healthy fire going. Now to for the secret ingredients. These right here are free range deer dogs from Arkansas. Got a buddy that makes these things up. Nothing genetically modified about these deer. Ranging on free range all day long. I know this is not a typical way to cook hot dogs, but here in Arkansas, sometimes the only way is the best way. What would people be surprised to find on your iPod? What would fans be surprised to find on your iPods? People would be surprised to find that I don't own an iPod. What's the first record you ever bought with your own money? And along the same lines, what's the first concert you ever attended? First album I bought my money was Slipknot's self-titled album. Awesome. Yeah. It was. Uh, I was. It was actually my real introduction for what I consider metal. I believe it's the genre is considered new metal. Yeah. Uh, but before that, the heaviest thing I ever really listened to was Corn. Uh, you know, which was pretty heavy. But yeah. but Slipknot, man, that self-titled album, it threw me into a whole new. My first album was Life is Too Short from Too Short. Hey, that was my first concert, was uh, Too Short. Hey. First concert I ever went to. Double bonus. Yeah. I think that was my first concert, too, because I was with you. Yeah, we were. No, actually, some, some, somebody took me to Stryker once. <laughs> so what about you, Antoine? What uh, the first album you ever got? <laughs> What's 
What's your writing process like? You guys all write together? It's more the after one particular member of the band. I drink yeah. as much as I can until there's no more thought process. Thought process is gone, that's when it all comes to life. <laughs> well, basically, we'll get in there and uh, somebody will come up with a riff. And, and then what I love about it is that you know, everybody else will come in and rip, we'll take that one bass riff and turn it into a song where everybody kind of puts their feelings into it. So you have that first riff that sets the tone of the whole song. And then, and then everybody kind of puts a little touch on it where they bring in a, uh, another riff or just a way, different way to play that riff that changes the whole outlay of that song. It's really interesting coming from a perspective of not knowing anything about what a F or a G or a, I don't, not musically educated in that sense, but it's like, Whenever I hear a riff from everybody, I, it's not like I, it's almost like I don't have a choice what goes where. It's like it just, it's just how it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's just, it's like, it's almost like the song was written before we got it. It's how I feel. Because whenever a riff comes together and it's just real powerful and like it's moving, it's, it's it's like it's almost like a living thing and we're just kind of the instruments that deliver it. Like, it's not I don't I don't I feel that way because I don't know how to write <laughs> music. Me I know how to write letters. <laughs> but I don't know. It's like it's it's like you the way you explained it to me when we were talking about the way universe came together from the first time I came and practiced with you guys, it's like it's cosmic energy. It's already put out there. We're just kind of getting it back and putting it out again. That's how I think our songs come together the way that they do. I love it. Audio bites always help the space capsule power up, so we can pick something better for it. Cause too many bad memories flooding my head, filling my mind, making me shiver down my spine. How I bled, watched it pour onto the floor, turning it red. Things that I said, I must have been blind, I must have been stupid. Why did I try? It should have been you, but it always ends up being I, me and myself. And I feel like I failed, and you probably see me as a child. Through all these years that I was so wild But I would never keep a smile on my face too long Cause all it takes is a situation that makes you wrong Everything that you desire handed to you on a silver platter But something still the matter Like roaches a million scatter in every direction And your thoughts in the world have no connection Your reality's been miscommunication No solution without sacrifice more than you're willing to compromise. Environments are changing. I remain in battle, staging empires fall. Calling for the broken backs crawling in the streets. In propaganda. What's next for Cosmo And I think what's next for Cosmo Board is probably looking at a little bit more high tech. We're going to get into machinery. We're going to try to get into a little more. Uh, you know, putting the industrial aspect to our music. We have, uh, we've already taken a few steps with the kids, but we're going to sound bank. Excellent, excellent. That's a good idea. That's, I think that's a good idea as well. Yeah. yeah Let's do it. You know what he's saying? He says it's time to jam. Yeah, and what we got here is one finished Arkansas wild range deer dog with pico de gallo and mustard. 
and quail egg buns cooked in our irradiator decomplexifiers face cast. This is Cosmovore and you are watching Brutally Delicious.